we are in a journey in these last days, in the end times. Your journey is going to begin. The mark of the beast is going to be introduced very soon. Do you know, many world governments have set a firm target date now. After 2020, the whole world will go cashless. So they have now set a firm target date, 2020. Many world governments have set a target date now. That from the beginning of 2020 onwards, they'll all migrate towards a cashless society. So once after 2020, it's just a matter of time before the mark of the beast is introduced. Now, how far is 2020 from now? Just one and a half years away. last day's generation must therefore turn back from six things. Number one, must turn back from self-seeking. Number two, turn back from hidden agenda of self-promotion. You know, there is an outward form of self-promotion and there is a hidden agenda of self-promotion. The scripture says, God weighs your spirits. No matter how much you may camouflage with seemingly good motives on the external, God looks into your heart. The motives of your heart. He weighs your spirit to see whether the motives are really true or just a camouflage. Number three, turn back away from pride. Psalm 75, verse 5. Number four, turn away from love for money, which will lead to corrupt practices, which was the sin of Biliam. Numbers chapter 22 to 25. Number five, turn back from building an empire. You are called to build the church of God. You are called to build God's kingdom, not your own empire, not your own kingdom for your posterity, for your children, for your children's children, and for your children's children's children. your successor. You cannot nominate your children to be your successor. God picks the successor. Let me give you one very good example. Before Moses died, the Lord told him, 
I have chosen Joshua to be your successor. Now, Joshua and Moses are not related in the flesh. They are not related at all. Where else? Moses' two sons were there. They were not chosen. Moses' brother Aaron's sons were there. They were not chosen. But someone unknown, unrelated to Moses' family was chosen by God. See, it's God who chooses. It's God who passes the mantle from one to another. You cannot choose to pick and choose which mantle you want. You can't do that. Number four, uh, six. Turn back from love for positions and self exaltation. Turn your heart. That is the sin of Korah found in Numbers chapter 16. Please remember one thing. Proverbs, Psalms chapter 75 verse 6 and 7 says promotion comes from God. It doesn't come from the east. It doesn't come from the west. It doesn't come from your superiors. Promotion comes from God. You don't need to please any of your superiors to get your increments or your promotions. You be faithful in your work, be faithful unto God, and God will give you the promotion. Wait for God to promote you. That's what Joseph did. And the Bible also tells us in Proverbs chapter 18, verse 16, and chapter 22, verse 29, your gifts will make room for you to come into a large place. Your gifts will make room for you to even come and stand before kings and princes. So, you don't promote yourselves. God will promote you.